Shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Ha Kwadash. Secondly, double honors <clears throat> to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach in their rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that are scattered worldwide that's in the faith as well that exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick lesson uh, straight, through, straight to the point and uh, through the spirit. And basically, you know, just an exhortation. Okay, when it comes to, you know, us that's in this calling, okay, which is, the you know, the faith to have the understanding of the scriptures, okay, and knowing about, you know, the spirituality, <clears throat> okay, when it comes to Yahweh, who the world calls God, his name is Yahweh, and his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay, which his name is Yahweh Shai, okay, in the uh, Paleo Hebrew, okay, and, you know, one of the spiritual aspects, okay, when it comes to the uh, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, we have the understanding here, a great millstone of spiritual, which, which they would call the world, would call spiritual phenomenons, okay, when it comes to, in this case, as I'm going to get into the uh, holy angels, okay, and we know when it comes to what the world has painted the likeness of the angels, okay? You know, when it comes to these Renaissance arts, okay? The whitewashing, okay? The blaspheming of the angels, okay? As this world pushed the angels of little white babies, okay? Or, you know, they, they're, they you know, they, their appearance would be, you know, uh, white, okay? But all actuality, okay? The angels, you know, even though we can't see them here in the physical realm, okay, but they actually, okay, have the the uh, the image or the likeness of a so-called black man, okay, a so-called Negro, or they're dark skin. And there's been, you know, a number of videos that people, you know, say that they see the angels when it comes to this dimension as they make their physical form, okay, being, you know, um, you know, being so-called dark-skinned men, okay, with stature, okay, and you know, and that's how the heavenly Father and this and the Son look as well, so-called dark-skinned men, which will be so-called Negroes today, which the head tribe of the nation of Israel is the tribe of Judah, okay, which that's the tribe that Yahweh Shai extended out of, man, okay. And even though we don't see the angels in the, in their physical form, okay, which the point of this lesson is that their appearance is very much around us, man, as we have known the turn about the guardian angels, okay? And, you know, basically I'm going to get into the scriptures how the Lord have angels for each and every individual brother that's in this faith, okay, when it comes to this ministry. Okay, the angels through the spirit work on the mind of the hopeful elect men. Okay, to give them their instructions when it comes to the spirit to go out there and teach. Okay, when it comes to the you know the angels on the right hand side. Okay, when you um, when it comes to the protection of the elect. Okay, when it comes to you no know, healing. Okay, when it comes to you know like I say the guidance, and that's all through the spirit and power of you. How about Shemuel was shot? Okay, and I'm going to get into Psalms chapter 34, verse 7. And, you know, we use this this um, uh, 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 this verse, okay, as, you know, when we're out there on the highways and byways, and, you know, as we're out there teaching, and as the scripture says, being in, you know, great boldness, because we had a confidence through the spirit and power we have about Shemuel Shai, the faith that the Lord have angels around us, man, okay, you know, because, you know, teaching his word, a lot of people, when it comes to mainly you Israelites, the, the non-believers of our people, the two-thirds, okay, 
of the non-believers, you know, you know, come to the point that, you know, brothers don't have testaments or witness individuals trying to cause, you know, brothers harms. Like a month ago, you had a, what, a, about, yeah, yeah, about a month ago, okay, you had, you know, the uh, GMS, Indianapolis um, branch, where, while they was out there teaching, you had a, 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 some individuals shot at them, okay? And the testimony of those brothers that when those, you know, shots was let off, the bullets, you know, didn't um <clears throat> hit any any brother, man. Okay, they said that, you know, the bullets was flying over their heads. And that's a faith booster, okay, that to know the Lord is uh, with his men on the highways and byways, okay? Such as, you know, incidents as that. Or such as incidents that, you know, uh, people trying to, you know, roll up on the, on the camp and trying to cause harm or mischief, bringing, you know, confusion, okay? But the angels are right there to protect the elect, okay? But also in our daily lives as well, okay? When it comes to the angels, you know, on the right-hand side protecting the elect, you know, through, through our daily walk, okay? Also that hopeful number, okay? And the Lord, you know, uses the angels to guide us, man, once again, Okay, and the Lord also have the angels on the left hand side because Yahweh Bashim Shah control both good and evil. So that's it on that. Let me get this. And the angels on the left hand side will be known as demons, but they all spiritual. Okay, the demons. What's the word demon mean? Highly intelligent. Okay, they just highly intelligent on the left hand side. Okay, that do the bidding, the bidding of Yahweh Bashim Shah when it comes to uh, evil. Okay, and even the righteous angel, angels bring judgment. Okay, but you know the righteous angels as well, in this case, protect uh, members of the hopeful elect. Okay, even people that's in the world, man, the Lord they have their angels, you know, and, and, and the Lord have them being God. Okay, through their walk. Okay, and you know many people, you know. Uh, um, you know, for, for, you know, for now, like people of the world, okay, you know, they got, you know, demons on them to a certain extent where they're not having an understanding of this truth. Okay. When it comes to, you know, make, you know, start with two thirds and the rest of these heathens. Okay. And those are the angels blocking them for this truth. Okay. Start with the, the nation of Israel, the two thirds, the non-believers, cause this word is only for. Uh, Israel. Well, let me get this real quick. But the, the the angels that's of the Lord will to protect the elect and and um the minister minister unto the elect. Okay, those the angels that guide the the elect and us that's in this faith serving Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And all the credit goes to Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Okay, but you have uh, evil angels as well. Let me get that in um. Which which do the bidding of Yahweh Bashim Shah on the left hand side, okay? When it comes to demons, <clears throat> when it comes to these, you know, uh, evil spirits that's being conjured up, okay, by people. When it comes to serving these false gods, these idols, okay, and pushing their vibration or whatever these false gods and names are, and the the rituals that they do, like the Edomites, the so called white race, okay, which you know. Worship it. Worship is Satan on the left hand side. With Satan, it's a, a angel on the left hand side. Okay, that do the bidding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, but we call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, us of the hopeful elect, and the Lord sent His angels to to help guide us on the right hand side. Okay, even though we have to battle the the the, the demons on the left hand side as well, because this is a spiritual um war, as it says in Ephesians. Chapter 6, but let me get this real quick. Uh, this is um, Psalms chapter 78, verse 49. He casts upon them the fierceness of his anger. And who's the he? Yahweh Bashim Shah, the Heavenly Father and the Son, when it comes to their uh, judgment. And it says, 
he casts upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation. Okay, the word indignation means righteous judgment. And it says, in trouble by sending evil angels among them. So, you know, when Yahweh shall bring judgment on, on people, okay, on a certain individual, okay, that's an a angel that the Lord sent, okay, on the, on the left hand side, okay, but like I say, the righteous angels, okay, which all of them are righteous when it comes to the will of Yahweh Shai, but there's certain orders of the angels that the Lord set up on the left hand side to do the bidding, okay. And the right, the righteous angels as well, they bring judgment in a particular, you know, sense of form. Okay. But the Lord also have the evil angels. Okay. To bring judgment. Okay. But all of it is the will of Yahweh Bashmi was shy. Matter of fact, let me get on. Well, that's Isaiah. Because the Lord created both good and evil. This is Isaiah chapter 45. Um, verse starting at verse five, it says, I am the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashom Yahweh Shai. There is none else. There is no God beside me. I grid thee, though thou hast not known me. Yeah, because majority of our people, when it comes to Israel, they don't know the true attention of Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahweh Shai. When it comes to the understanding of the scriptures, okay, which is given unto us of the hopeful elect and is calling through the spirit. But two thirds. Okay, didn't receive it at this time. Okay, they're going to have to perish on this side and or in this lifetime to come back in the kingdom. Okay, because salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel at this moment. Okay, and when I say salvation, meaning deliverance, once Yahweh shall return with the hosts of angels. Okay, once again, which the word host means armies. Okay, by the way, are the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, the vehicles of the angels. Okay, that's another way how they... Uh, make themselves present in the in the physical form, okay? Because when you look into those chariots, okay, the the glory of those chariots, the vehicles of the angels, okay, they can appear, okay, in the physical form, or they can you know disappear, okay? They can you know you you know you get certain incidents where you see um chariots, you know they can you know you can it appear as one, that they can multiply that one can multiply into about um. 10 or 20 okay so that's the spiritual power okay of those chariots okay they can you know a lot enlarge they self minimize they self like i said they can you know reappear in the physical form or uh uh, uh you know cloak they selves and those are so-called black men or so-called black uh entities in the form of the angels that control them Okay, not aliens. That's another lie of blaspheming of the angels. Okay, that they depicted in these Hollywood production movies. Okay, these alien invasion movies and painting the likeness. Okay, of the angels as green creatures. Okay, or, 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 or some type of form of, of a monster. Okay, but they're not actuality when it comes to the the the, the scriptures and thus they have the understanding. That they are actually so-called black men or dark-skinned entities in the form of, of men, okay, in spirituality, okay. And when I say that, you know, they have the, the looks of a so-called black man, but not the physical part when it comes to the uh, their the bodies, okay, because they, they, are, they are spiritual, you know, they have spiritual bodies, okay, even though they can, you know, take on a physical look. Okay, <clears throat> because the angels they don't you know don't have to necessarily eat or drink as as we do here on the earth in the in this flesh. Okay, <clears throat> but the angels they can you know uh, um they're spirits they are um uh, eternal. Okay, angels you know they don't die. Well, okay, you got this whole area fifty one where these you know documents are. Found crash UFOs, which that's a lie. Okay, because the angels are perfect, man. Right along with the chariots. They ain't going to crash, man. Okay, but let me get into Isaiah chapter uh, 45. Once again, verse 5. I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. There is none else. There is no God beside me. I grid thee, 
Dodai has not known me. And that's going to two, at this time, the two thirds. Okay? Because the elect have attained it. Uh, Romans 11 and 7 have attained the truth. And part of the truth of the understanding is the Lord, uh, description, the description, the root, the true description of the angels that the Lord gave us the okay, to understand. And there's different accounts all throughout the scriptures that angels appear to men of the Lord. Okay, and, and, and make themselves known in a physical form. Okay, to, to give certain men, the prophets, the, the, the understanding of certain visions. Okay, the interpretations. Okay, or, 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 or being a, a help the, of deliverance. Okay. But also as well, okay, they can, you know, uh, um, you know, being a, the, uh, another dimension when it comes to you know, not, you know, not able to see them physically, but, you know, um, knowing the presence of the angels there, uh, spiritually. And it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Like I said, the Lord control both sides. Okay. The evil angels. Okay. That bring forth judgment and the righteous angels. Okay. That bring forth deliverance. Okay. And judgment. Okay. As well. Uh, you know, and both bring guidance. Okay, because these demons or the angels on the left hand side guide people towards doing wickedness, man. Okay, or towards being, you know, blocked from this, the understanding of this truth. Okay, and it says, verse 6 that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. If you just not read, okay, what that was Psalm 78, how the Lord said he sent forth evil angels, okay, just as well the righteous angels, okay. And it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, do all these things. So Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, control the matter of all things, good, evil, life, death. And he operate by the way of the, and they they operate okay, because right now the angels are under the order of Yahweh Shah, okay, which Yahweh Shah have all power, since it's you no know, sacrifice as a resurrection, which Yahweh Shah is on the left hand side. I mean, it's a lot that was you know slip, which Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh Shah control as well the left hand side, but he's sitting on the right hand side of um the heavenly Father Yahweh, waiting for the the turn the return of his second coming. And Yahweh Shah is going to return by the way of the chariots, okay, to bring the deliverance, okay, from out of the destruction. Because this place, America, is going to be totally annihilated by thermonuclear fire at the peak of the Third World War. And during that time, Yahweh Shah is going to return with the angels to deliver the elect from out of the destruction of America and where the elect is scattered at worldwide, okay, which the elect would consider the 144,000 and the one third, okay. Uh, and the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to bring war. Okay, right along with the angels. Okay, by the way, the, the so called UFOs. Revelation uh, 12 going to that. Second Edge chapter 13. Okay, Revelation chapter 19 and 11. Okay. Uh, so that's it on that. Let me get on. Let me see. So the Lord gave his charge over the, you know, the angels. You know, to protect the elect. And like I said, the point of the lesson I you know, want to get to the point is that Yahweh Shem Al Shah have his angels guarding his elect. Okay. And that work on the elect mind. To you know, to serve you, how about Shai? What is Psalms 93? Let me see. Let's see. Let me see. Here we go. <clears throat> Psalms 91. Psalms chapter 91, verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee. Now I'll start off at verse 9. And it says. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, 
neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Okay, because we're coming in a time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay, we're seeing the prophecies of the form of plagues. Okay, the Lord bringing, you know, judgment, visiting the earth. Okay, but us that's in the faith. Okay, and, and, and serving Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay, we're looking for the Lord to deliver us, man. Even, you know, we go through our, you know, certain trials and tribulations. Okay, dealing with certain ailments. Okay, dealing with, you know, the vexation of this world. Okay, dealing with, you know, uh, demons trying to, you know, uh, uh, come against us. Okay, uh, you know, so the Lord have it to the point through the spirit that he set up, you know, angels to deliver us, man. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashmi was shot. So it says, um, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Okay. So long as we serve Yahweh Bashmi was shot, the Lord gonna keep us in all his ways, okay, through the spirit. Okay, by giving us the understanding from on high, and part of that is the the angels, okay, ministering. Hey, even when Yahweh Shai. Okay, that was uh, what that Matthew the, let me see, Matthew the fourth chapter, after Yahweh Shai, you know, did that, did a fast for 40 days, and Satan came to tempt him, okay, so even Yahweh Shai had to deal with those, the demons on the left hand side back then, okay, because Satan came to tempt him, tempt him, tempt him, tempt him, where he was at, you know, his vulnerable point, okay, after, you know, a fast. But Yahweh Shai used the scriptures to uh, come back to him. Okay, and after Yahweh Shai, you know, after Satan left, as it says, for a season, the angels came to minister unto Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let me see that. Uh, is that Matthew the fourth chapter? Yep, Matthew chapter four. Okay, and I'll get straight to the point. Um, verse 9, and he said unto him, and this is Satan, okay, and he said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then say Yahweh Shai unto him, get thee hence Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shall thy serve. Okay, so this show you right here also as well, when it comes to these wacky tacky Christians, okay, when it comes to that myth that Satan was kicked out of heaven, and Satan do his own thing, he is his, his own power. Now nah, Satan is one of the angels on the left hand side of Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's why Yahweh Shah says Satan, you you gonna worship the Heavenly Father, Yahweh only. Okay? And like I say, now Yahweh Shah ruleth over all things. Okay, so he, Satan is under the control of Yahweh Shah as well. Okay, if you can, you know, receive it. Okay. Okay, but the point is, okay, and you know, Job, the second chapter, going to that too. How Satan made himself present amongst the sons of, of gods. Okay, which is another way of saying, you know, the, the angels. Okay, in the spiritual realm, when they had that council, that, you know, which, which was a bet between Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and Satan. Okay, the, you know, the, the plague Job. But eventually, Job got the victory. Okay. And Yahweh shot, I mean, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh told Satan, he can do anything to Job, but take his, um, you no know, spirit. Okay, meaning that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai control life and death, man. Okay, starting with the heavenly Father. Okay, Satan just do the bidding or give the or uh, do the order. Okay, of the will of the Lord. And it says, verse uh, eleven. Then the devil left him. Okay, and this is the point. So Satan fled. Okay, after Yahweh Shai. You know, one, you know, basically the, the spiritual battle. Then the devil left left him, or the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Okay? So once again, just as the angels minister unto Yahweh Shai, the Lord do the same thing for us or the hopeful elect. Okay? Giving us this understanding. Let me see. Uh, When it says that, let me see if I can find it.
Oh, here we go. Hebrews 1 and uh, 7. And it says, And the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirits, and he minister a flame of fire. Okay, so the Lord set up the angels to be a, a minister, okay, to the elect. Okay. Okay. So that's it on that. So once again, man, Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, when it comes to this understanding, the Lord set up the angels. Okay. And I don't want to make this video like, you know, deep. Okay, because I know lately, you know, the apostles and the elders, you know, and the bishops and brothers, you know, we're going into back to the basis. Okay, but one of the, the basis entry your levels, okay, you know, which is, you know, can be meat. Okay, for, you know, people that, you know, that have been, you know, in the truth for a while or newcomers that studying. Okay, but the scripture says it's going to make men quick understanding. And one of the, you know, understanding of the scriptures that the Lord have the angels guiding us, man. Okay? And they'll teach you that in the world. But like I said, on a low level. But they don't know the 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 stint, like, uh, 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 the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai when it comes to the, the angels being part of the, the help. Okay? And part of that salvation as well. And part of the will of the works of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Let me get this. When it says that, um, well, not, but the spiritual man, I'll start off at verse First Corinthians chapter uh, two, verse uh, ten. But Yahweh Bashim Shai have revealed them unto us by His Spirit. Okay, and part of that is what, by the way, of the angels minister unto the the us of the hopeful elect. Okay, for the Spirit search of all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh Bashim Shai. For what man know the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, know no man, but the spirit of Yahweh. Okay? Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Okay? Which things also... Which things also we speak not in the words which men wisdom teach. Yeah, the ways of this world, man. Okay, the lies, especially with Esau, Edom, and rulership, pushing deceivingness. Okay. But which the Holy Spirit teach. Okay, by the way of the ministry of the angels. Through the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receive not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, the corner man, those that think in corner, not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, when it comes to not having an understanding, okay, of the of the of the, of the, of the, of the truth or these scriptures, okay, not able to interpret them, okay, for they are foolish unto him. Yeah, because when we say that, that you know that they are actually angels, but you can't see them, and they can make themselves known, okay, in the physical form or the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots. Okay, really all the vehicles of the angels and how Yahweh is going to return from out of the heavens with a so-called UFO invasion. Okay, you know, a lot of our people don't understand that because it's foolish unto them. Okay, once we speak, okay, you know, the, the, the understanding or the truth, but they can't receive it. And it says, neither can he know them because they are spiritual discerned. That's the thing. They don't have the spirit. Okay, which the spirit of faith and the understanding that the Lord gave us, okay, so that election, that hopeful number, okay, is a gift, okay, and that's the will of Yahweh Shai, okay, verse 15, 
But he that is spiritual judge all things, yet himself is judge of no man. Okay? For who have known the mind of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I mean, who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? So we have the understanding of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the Spirit. And part of that will, the understand, is the Lord having his angels, okay, ministering to us. And as well being a protection, okay, and a guide unto us, man. Okay, even through this trials and tribulation, you know, our daily walk and our daily fight, we have our ups and downs. But know that the Lord always have his his angels, okay, through the spirit and power you have by Shemel Shah to help guide us and give us more uh, understanding. Okay, especially the times that we're about to head into now. But all the credit and glory and honor go to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay, not you know, the angels themselves. Okay, because we're really, because we're angels as well here on the earth. Okay, as we're the first fruits, you know, Lord willing. Okay, the scripture says the angels that kept not their first estate. Matter of fact, let me get that. You know, I ain't want to, you know, you know, just doing the topping on, you know, spiritual topping. That should be Jude. This is Jude chapter um, 1, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, okay, but left their own habitation, and he had reserved them, a reserve in everlasting change under darkness until the judgment of the great day. Yeah, because the angels that left their first estate, okay, which was known back then during the time of Adam, okay, the sons of gods. And we know that Adam, okay, due to, you know, Eve, okay, uh, uh, taking on the philosophies and gave it to Adam, okay, or the other nations, and we fell ever since then, okay, from our godlike status, okay, that we're now in this mortal flesh, okay, that's why I say the change under darkness, okay, because we're angels as well, okay, until the great day of, uh, of, the, of the judgment of that great day, when, when Yahweh shall return to come back and receive the elect and change our bodies, okay, back into being immortal okay but we're the we are angels as well here on the earth okay the angels that left their first estate okay also that hopeful number because matter of fact the angels are our fellow brother and that's what uh the angel told john john the revelator in revelation because john like i said cause, you know we know that the lord set up angels to help guide us but we're giving all the, the, the credit to Yahweh Bashim Shai, such as the angels. The angels, they uh, um they um worship Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, and eventually all things will. Okay, when it comes to these heathens. Because they're gonna go into captivity up on us, man, in our kingdom. Okay? Which is gonna be here on the earth. Cause this place of America is gonna be destroyed by missiles. And the land of Israel, okay, gonna be cleansed by the way of missiles. By the way of fire, because the ones that's over there now are not the original inheritors. And once we're set up back into the land, okay, Revelation chapter 21 going to New Jerusalem coming out of the, the heavens, meaning the Lord bringing the elect back down on the earth to take over out of the chariots. These heathen nations are going to build up our kingdom, starting with the, the, the Edomites, starting with the elites. Okay. But like I say, even on uh, John. You know, went to, you know, worship the angel, but the angel say not. Okay. This is John, uh, with John the Revelator, they call, you know, but this is uh, Revelation chapter 19. Let me see, verse. I'll start at verse 9. And he said unto me, Right, bless all day. So this is the, the you know the angel, you know, giving the understanding to John of the vision, the revelation. Okay, which the word revelation means to reveal. Okay. The, the reveal what? The time of end, you know, end time prophecy, according to Revelation. Even though end time prophecy is all throughout the scriptures, man. Even the old testament. Okay, for you New Testament only uh 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 uh, uh Israelites or, or believers, okay. 
And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage. Okay, the marriage represent being joined back unto Yahweh Shai. Okay, the elect. And it says, The marriage supper of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's another title of Yahweh Shai, the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are true saying of Yahweh, okay, or God. Now I fell at his feet to worship him. Okay, so this John response. Okay, he went to go to worship him. Okay, to give him because the angel gave him the, the, uh, the understanding. Okay, ministering to him. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. So the angel returned, saying, See now thou don't do it. Okay, don't reverence me. That's what the word will worship me. And it says, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. Once again. So that proved right there. That we're angels on the um uh, in this fleshly body at this time. Okay, you know, as I made mention earlier, the angels don't have they can make the you know appearance knowing the physical look, but they are spiritual. Okay. They're angelic. Okay. But we on the earth, okay, we are angels once again, as it said in Jude 1 and 6, those angels that left their first estate that have been put in the chains of darkness. Okay, the sinful flesh. Okay, so the angel said, "What well, I am, thy fellow brethren, okay, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai and worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, so even the angels, when it comes to their protection, yeah, we got the saying here: great millstone amongst each other. And the scriptures, once again, you know, going to brotherly love. Let brotherly love continue. Okay, so even the the angels are." Our brethren, okay. When it comes to the protection of the us or the hopeful elect, man, okay, and that's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay. So, uh, I guess I end the lesson here, and uh, I pray that lesson is uh, edifying. You know, I'm not trying to make this lesson too deep, okay. But I just wanted to, you know, you know, touch on the topic of the angels, their characteristics. And how important it is to understand that, you know, yeah, the the spirit of Yahweh Bashimah was shy, and what what and the true power that we worship, man. Okay. The the the, the true living God, man, and His Son. Okay, the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, man, and even more and more making a present known. Okay, here in the physical world, by the Lord bringing plagues, man. Okay, and about to bring deliverance. So I pray that it lets me edify. And as well, I'm going to end off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Ha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in that Ruel today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide in our truth and sincerity day in and day out. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.